And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. And there's a good opportunity. Just want to ride there. A drop pass. I guess that's why they call them running backs and not catching backs. On play action, Rivers. Going deep for Stevie Johnson. Into a double team and it's intercepted. A great read and it's picked off. And they have the football and will take over at the 24-yard line. Now the Vikings offense gets set to take over here. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Screenplay, McKinnon. That one goes for 24 yards. That was a beautifully executed screen pass. Let the rushers get upfield. The blocking forms in front. Lofted it to the runner. And now, not only does he have open space in front of him, he's got an escort as well, and they pick up big yardage. Bradford now to throw on first down. He's going to loft one deep left side here. A fight for the football, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Casey Hayward. And his guys have got it back at the closing stages of the first half. And the Chargers coming out of the field now. And the ball backed way up. So thinking with this amount of time on the clock, probably just sit on it. And we'll see these two teams go to the lockers. Yeah, I don't think you want to overthink it in this situation. Either side of the ball. Just go ahead and finish up the half and get on out and talk about it. Following the interception here, Rivers. Deep drop. He's going to let it go again. And for a third time tonight, he's intercepted. Terrence Newman with a pick. And his guys have got it back at the closing stages of the first half. The Vikings offense now heading out to take over. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out. So we've hit intermission. It's halftime. This is the NFL, and it's a presentation of EA Sports. So both teams have their marching orders, and we'll get going again here in quarter number three. And it's a short kick taken out beyond the 20. And they're going to wind up with pretty good starting field position as they get it up past the 35. Out come the Vikings. They'll have it first on offense as we begin the third. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking for some separation here as we begin the third quarter. I like the way you term that because now I think they go a little bit deeper into their playbook. They like what they did in the first half. That worked okay. But in order to get the separation that you just talked about, change things up a little bit. Change your tendencies. Try and hit them a little bit more with some things they didn't see in the first half. Let's see if they do just that. I know back in the good old days, just about every team was constructed to power run to the right side. We just saw a pitch to the right side that worked pretty well. It's easier going to the right than the left? It just used to be very simply that the right side was always the power side. I think that's just one of those old things. I'm not sure it's still the same, but on that play, it certainly felt like we were back to the future. Yeah, and it worked. Almost not fair. The big guy running the corner route, being able to lean and push and get to where he wants. So how do you stop it? A lot of times you want to have a linebacker on him, a bigger body guy who can handle him physically. But a lot of times that doesn't work as well because his quickness often wins the route. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. They'll run it now out of the gun. Looking to find a lane, but he can't rein in at the line of scrimmage. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. The evaluation process in today's NFL does not take into account as much bulk as it does speed, and that's what we're seeing with the linebacker position. Those guys that can run, they can play. It. And he will score. Touchdown, Vikings. 22-yard touchdown grab. And the Vikings find a way to stretch their lead. It's good, and it's 21-10. And so we have the touchdown. Now here's Blair Walsh to kick this one away. 
This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he'll bring it a few past the 20 to the 23-yard line. Now we'll look at the Chargers offense. They get ready for their first possession of the second half. They're down in this game. A chance for the offense, though, to put something on the board, get some momentum here at half two. Try and get things kick-started for them. And you know at the half, they discussed how they were going to get that done. This is where scripting comes into play. Yeah. How many time. plays do you script coming out of the most, most of the time in the first half, you're scripting 12 to 16. I think in the second half, you're really scripting more like 8 to 10. Kind of a starter or an opener, whatever, they, whatever terminology they use. Just something to get you off to a quick start. And the offense will be looking to get at least some of this yardage back here. It's second and 12. This is Gordon as they go to him again. And he's brought down after a good game. A good pick up there, a 22. I love football lingo and the evolution of it all. Nickel defense, makes sense, right? Five, Five defensive DBs. backs. But then you go to six, what are you going to call that? And they call it a double it. <laughs> a dive, which is just very simple for them. The math doesn't add up. But I know one thing, offense is loved to run again. And he's taken down, trying to do a little too much, getting outside of the pocket, and it results in a sack. Well, Brandon, sometimes I think when we watch games, we're actually watching a living museum because we're seeing the evolution of positions almost with each passing game. How about defensive ends nowadays and the way that they can run almost all the way across the field? It is unbelievable, isn't it? I mean, they're, they're so strong, but they're so lean, they can move so quick with those bodies. It's almost unfair. You're supposed to be able to know where a defensive end is supposed to be on every play. These guys flash so quickly, you're not sure where they're going to end up. To throw is Rivers. Buying time to his left. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. It'll be a three-yard gain, and it'll be fourth down. Well, there were a couple of extra defensive backs in the game, so he really had nowhere to go with the football despite his search for an open receiver. So he has to take off and run for it, but he comes up well short of the line to gain. That'll be put in the books as a 53-yard punt. And out will come the offense as they take over. And out now come the Vikings. Here's McKinnon. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. Off the corner, where'd he come from? Well, I, guess, I mean, I guess he came off the corner, but really nice play. I like when you're able to pose a question and answer it at the same time. That's exactly where he came from, but it's not something that you normally see. Most of the time, we're thinking about those guys covering pass catchers. In this case, he was a big factor in a run game, no gain. Three yards left to grab here on third down. Well, there's an example of patience being rewarded. Ran the ball on first down and got stuffed. Most people would scream, throw the ball here in this situation. They stayed with their roots, stayed with running the football, and they got rewarded. He'll wind up being stopped for no gain, and it'll lead to a fourth down. Here's Jeff Locke now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. Back now at beautiful new U.S. Bank Stadium. It's the Vikings in possession of the football and the lead. They'll be looking to add to that total as we begin quarter number four. And here's a very low line drive, almost whiffed on it. Returning, it's Benjamin. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Chargers will be set up pretty well as they take over in great field position. Out comes the San Diego offense as they get set to see what they can do here. And with this deficit, you can't have too many more drives like the last drive where you had to punt it away. You know what I would tell my offense right here? The punter doesn't exist, guys. He doesn't even exist. He's not a team anymore. I just cut it, all right? So you've got to go out and create some offense for us here and give us some points. No way does that guy get on the field on this drive. Poor punter. Yeah, he, it, it wasn't his fault. But some, hey, listen, there's, some, there's got to be casualties at times. We're trying to win a game. Dontrell Inman, the intended target, and it's third down. While an incomplete pass certainly doesn't look like a good play, <laughs> For the guy throwing it today, as many interceptions he's thrown, he's got to feel a sigh of relief that the ball actually hit the ground and didn't go in the other direction. Rivers now. He's going to go for a big play downfield. And 
for the fourth time tonight. It's an interception picked off by the former first rounder, Trey Waynes. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. The Vikings offense now, they get ready to head back on the field. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency. Move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. Okay, every now and then, my defensive bias will leak out here. Abysmal play for them. You've got them backed up, and you let them out. And take advantage. And you know who's happy? The punter. <laughs> because if he was needed, they gave him a lot of space to work with now. Yeah, because he would have had a lot to think about, right? Don't step over the back line and give him a safety. Now he's got room if he needed it. Offense in a good spot here, second and two. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And some space here. A good pick up there, 26 yards. I know that play went to the left side, and that's what it was designed to do, an outside handoff there. But how about the whole offensive line being involved? Seal the left side where the play was going, what they call play side. But how about on the back side? Just taking care of business to make sure no one can get there and disrupt it. Is the biggest key to left tackle? Without a doubt. Control that edge. Get out there. You want that left tackle or if you bring your tight end over there. Either way, control the edge of the line of scrimmage. And it's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Minnesota. Their dangerous wide receiver, 40 yards. And the Vikings are going to add on to their lead. We see this route all the time, but when it's well executed, it's a beauty. And it feels like the fade takes forever to develop, like that ball is just hanging in the air. And the reason why is that the receiver is trying his best to work the defender inside and give himself space to fade away from him and catch the football. And that's exactly what happened there. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And they finally get to him, but not before he's past the 45 to the 46-yard line. And now San Diego getting set to go. They'll come out in the pistol. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Eluding the pressure right. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Different pass rushes are designed for different things. Sometimes you want to keep the quarterback in the pocket. Sometimes you want him to flush. I don't know exactly how this one was designed, but they made sure they moved him to his right. He got out of the pocket. Unfortunately for him, he was hit as he tried to throw the ball, and that resulted in an incompletion. It's a gain of 11 yards that time, and it produces a new set of downs. Now Rivers. And nearly another interception. They've been around the ball all game. Well, he did almost everything right. Excellent coverage, breaks on the football, just unable to haul it in and take it the other way. So he dropped an interception. The key for him now, don't dwell on it. Just move on to the next play. Here's Rivers. Oh, a scrap for the football, and he's going to come down with it. A nice pick up there of 11 yards, and it'll move the sticks. And they're going to speed things up here. Really excellent job there of just going up and getting it. Brandon, I'm a defender. I shouldn't be this excited, but what a play by the receiver downfield to elevate and make the catch. Not a run that you're going to write home about, but still a good first down run. That's what an offense calls staying on schedule. Three to four yards on first down. You're set up very well for the rest of the drive. And my goodness, another interception picked up by Harrison Smith. And he'll...